So I think it's fair to say that everybody loves a burger, right? Well, I guess except for the people who don't eat meat, but that's why nature made the Impossible Burger. Thanks. But if you're looking for a juicy, beefy patty with all of the fixins, San Francisco has no shortage of places to activate those taste buds of yours. Ooh, thank you. There are, of course, the chains. We've got SF Native Super Duper Burger, the recent East Coast Transplant Shake Shack, and longtime California resident In-N-Out. We also have the fancier specialty places like Coswell's, Spruce, and Popsons. But as is typically the case with me, I like somewhere where the food is fast, the frills are basically non-existent, and where every bite just seems to hit the spot, so to speak. Yeah, you guessed it. I'm talking about a drive-in, a restaurant whose only appropriate nomenclature is, of course, a joint. I mean, a burger joint. And today, we're going to take a look at the best drive-in burger places that we've got here in San Francisco. Let's go. Okay, so before I run the risk of turning into a discount Guy Fieri, Let's lay the groundwork here. What exactly is a drive-in? Well, if we're going by mid-century standards, a drive-in is a diner or a restaurant where you roll up into the parking lot, a server on skates comes to take your order, and they bring your food to the window, tray attached to the door and all. But even though roller skates are coming back into vogue, we're not living in the 50s anymore, and the novelty of driving somewhere to get something to eat is pretty much all but gone. These days, sadly, the delivery app is king, so you really don't even need to leave your house. Besides, OSHA standards that probably nix the whole careening to your car with a hot tray of food thing anyway. Fortunately though, the drive-in is not quite dead yet. Oh no, not at all. Okay, there may not be a whole lot of them left here in the city, but San Francisco, despite being the cramped urban chessboard that it is, still has a few drive-ins remaining. The first one that comes to mind is, of course, Mel's Drive-In. Founded in 1947, Mel's has been an ever-present participant in diner culture, and it was even featured prominently in George Lucas's 1973 film American Graffiti, all but solidifying its place in the mid-century eatery game. Mel's is a true San Francisco original, and still a great place to grab a burger, but none of the locations in the city are actual drive-ins anymore. They've all been converted to eat-in diners instead. There's also Tony's Cable Car Restaurant on Geary and Lyon, which, if I had to place it somewhere, is halfway between a drive-in and a diner. Their classic menu, full of burgers, hot dogs, and other fried finger foods, sits next to their tiny order window inside the building itself. They've even got some outdoor seating and an eye-catching neon sign, making it an adorable analog to the traditional drive-in. And, of course, we've got Whizburger in the Mission District, which, in addition to its late-night digs, is notable for being at the center of a pivotal moment within the city's LGBTQ community. In June of 1977, the grisly murder of a gay city gardener sparked outrage from people all across San Francisco and led to one of the largest SF Pride Parade turnouts of all time. But there's one place in the city that I keep coming back to, one burger that I cannot get enough of. It goes by one name, one sound, beeps. Beeps is located on Ocean Avenue across from City College of San Francisco and deep within SF's Ingleside neighborhood. And if you've never been out here, think of Ingleside as the connective tissue that joins the Sunset and the Outer Mission. Ocean itself is a lively street. Its commercial row is stocked full of cafes, Asian restaurants, and of course, a giant statue of Theodore from the third live action Alvin and the Chipmunks movie. But that's not why you're here. Well, that's not why you're here. I have to come back to this. But we're here to see the neighborhood's hallowed hamburger home. And if the neon sign outside is any indication, we're in for a good time. In a vacuum, one could mistake any given angle of this place for the 1960s. And that's because it's a spot that has been around since that era, when the United States space race with Russia inspired all sorts of kooky branding to help the public cheer on their hometown astronauts. In Beep's case, the neon sign out front takes the shape of a spacecraft, with the name of the restaurant itself derived from the signature sound of an orbiting satellite. Beep. 
but the sign is just one of the many holdovers from its mid-century roots. While we've already established that employees rolling around on wheels, flinging your order directly through your car window is rightfully a hazard, ordering here still feels nostalgic for all the right reasons. You park your car, you line up at the end, when it's your turn you duck down through a tiny opening where a friendly cashier takes your order. You ask for a burger, maybe some curly fries, a shake, a friend, and then you wait. Maybe you chat with some of the other patrons who also forewent table service to stand around sniffing the savory aromas coming from the exhaust vent. If you look hard enough, you might be able to get a peek of the fry cook smashing the handmade patties onto the grill. But staring is rude, and patience is virtue. So let's give it some time. The wait is almost unbearable. Your mouth waters, your stomach yearns for beef, and then... Your name. You've never been so happy to hear your own name in your life. You grab the bag. It's heavy, full of precious cargo, way more valuable than anything else you've held recently. You sit down at one of the counters, or maybe just take it to your car. You can't wait. You rip open the bag. The fries say hello, but you push them aside. Those guys can wait. Instead, you dig out the clamshell container at the bottom, lift open the lid to uncover your half-pound beeps burger with extra sauce, and you bite. The world around you stops, and everything is okay again. There really is something special about drive-ins. Not just beeps, and not just in the city, but at the same time, especially in the city. Maybe it's the casual nature of the order process, the feeling of community waiting alongside fellow patrons, the Pandora's box of grease to burger ratio that gets me so excited to take a bite. Mm, all those are great, but there's something else. I think I've got it. What makes a drive-in so special in San Francisco is not necessarily the food or the camaraderie or even necessarily the nostalgia, even though all those things are great. You know what it is? It's the independence. Because of the parking lot required to, well, drive in, these places are usually detached from the surrounding buildings, which means restaurants like Beeps, Wiz, and Tony's are untethered. They're free. Drive-ins are free. Perhaps the freest of any restaurant out there. While everyone around them builds up, they lay low. They strive for personal space and then gladly invite you to invade it. To have that elbow room in a city that is notorious for density and for squeezing as many buildings as it can inside its city limits, that's liberating. Like you can go on and on about what you think a burger needs, but all I really care about is how it makes you feel. And Beeps will forever be one of those places that just makes you feel good. Hello, thanks for watching. Sorry, I'm eating right now. So if we can pretend like I didn't just take a four month break between now and my last video, that'd be wonderful. There's been a lot of stuff going on. Some of it I can't really talk about quite yet. Although I do have one important thing to share with you all, and that's the word beef is singular. And the plural of beef is beeves. Anyway, hope you enjoyed this video. You know, I don't really care if you're a meat eater or a vegetarian, I really don't. All I really care about is that you leave a like and subscribe hit the notification bell. Any support at all from you guys means a whole lot to me. So stay productive and wise, and I'll see you at the next spot.